recognition from uh, Spears Magazine. It's a recognition not only for the family, but all the stakeholders involved. We have so many you know, in-house people, uh, our development team, our consultants. So it's a recognition for all of us. When we came to Whitehall, we, just, we were blown away with the size and the beauty of this building. And that's how you know, we said, let's do something, leave our legacy in, in London. That's, that was the dream of my father and his brothers, to leave a legacy behind. And uh, uh, you know, no expense has been spared in you know, building this, uh, you know, bringing this building back to its glory. The whole project is so exciting. Every facet of this uh, development has been exciting. From right from, uh, you know, this building was an inward looking building. To convert an inward looking building into a building which welcomes everybody <laughs> into the building was a challenge. So, you know, from what it used to be as a Ministry of Defense and its history in, in, as far as World War I, World War II, and now to bring it into a, a building where people will come in and we offer them all types of facilities has been challenging and, and, and I'm sure rewarding soon. You know, for us, this is a legacy project and for the family, it's a legacy project. And we have put all our heart, passion, time into this project. My father gave not only me, but all of us, all, all his children and my cousins that nothing is impossible. Next to impossible is only possible. <laughs> so that's always been, uh, you know, not only in, in me, but in all our family members, that, that resonates well with everybody. The way we look at it, as far as this type of project is concerned, it's the only one in the market. The scale, what we are giving to our clients, is unparalleled. So I don't see any other project of this scale at the moment in London. The supply side, uh, as far as the high end is concerned, is limited. So we're actually coming into the market at the right time. And uh, we see a lot of demand coming from the US and the Far East, uh, which, you know, which also proves that you know, despite Brexit, London is London. Many people associate Raffles with Singapore they have had uh, fantastic experiences. I've met one or two buyers and they recall their fantastic experiences they've had during their stay in Singapore. So the raffles resonates well with many international people. The world, in this world, the way we are changing, people want branded residences. I think that's the trend the world is going to, not only in London, but if you see in other cities of the world also. So branded residences, I think, uh, are going to grow.